Kung ikaw ay isang teacher at hindi mo pa alam ang paggamit ng paper mode sa quizzes app, then ang video ito, ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano gamitin ang paper mode sa inyong mga classroom instructions. Kahit walang wifi ang inyong mga schools or kahit walang wifi ang classroom ninyo, basta meron lang kayong data sa cellphone at pwedeng i-hotspot sa inyong mga laptop or computers, then pwedeng-pwedeng gamitin ang paper modes sa inyong mga estudyante. Yes po, kahit walang gadget sa mga estudyante ninyo, pwedeng gamitin ang paper mode sa inyong pagtuturo. Kaya kung gusto niyo pong matutunan kung paano gamitin ang paper mode, manood po kayo dito, tapusin niyo po ang video ito. And if you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell para sa iba pang updates. What is a paper mode on quizzes app? Paper mode on quizzes allows teachers to conduct interactive quizzes without requiring its pupil to have a personal device. Instead, pupils use printed cue cards and teachers scan responses using the quizzes mobile app. How to use paper mode on quizzes app for teaching and learning? Open your internet browser and go to the quizzes homepage by typing quizzes.com. Go to quizzes homepage and then select login or sign up to access quizzes using your email. In case wala pa kayong quizzes account, you can sign up for free. Since I have already a quizzes account, so I can continue by logging in using my Google account. So I'm now inside the quizzes admin page. Ito yung aking account sa quizzes. In quizzes, paper mode is available in both basic and super plan. Okay? So, kahit free, meron pa rin tayong paper mode. So, to start with, go to my library and click on the quiz that you have created. If you haven't created yet, then click create. Click the assessment. And then, in create a new activity, click create from scratch and then you can type the topic that you are going to choose for your quiz and then click search quizzes siguraduhin nyo lang na ang inyong mapipiling questions ay multiple choice type of questions then in filter tick the grade level Sa akin ay grade 5. And then, subject area, which is mathematics. And then, the number of questions ay 1 to 10 lang muna. So, lalabas ang mga different uh, questions or different quizzes. Nasa, right, nasa left side and then the right side pipili ka ng isa para ma-preview mo dito sa right side so naghahanap pa ako ng aking ilalagay so yan yung nasa unahan ang kinuha ko i-click mo lang siya dyan then ayan na so yan na yung mga 1 to 10 ko na items para sa aking quiz then, pa-transfer na niya yan doon sa quizzes library mo. Then, close the X and then click publish. Yan, 1 to 10. Yan ang mga questions na napili ko sa aking addition of decimals. Then, publish. Yan, 
syempre pangangalan na natin ang ating quiz write the name of your quiz sa akin nilagay ko ang aking addition of decimals and then tick the subject which is mathematics and then the grade level grade 5 and then click publish kita mo na yan doon sa iyong library. It's a great job. Your quiz is saved and ready to use for the paper mode. Click okay. play and choose custom settings and you will be directed to paper mode. Now we have to print the cue cards. Click on the print button found below. And then the first part of the cue cards PDF contains directions on how to use them. Let's read the directions or the instructions to use. Each card has a participant number printed to make it easier for you to identify participants for evaluation. Then to answer your using cue cards, students have to rotate the cards to choose between options. So answer A. Then, rotate the cue cards to choose between options. For answer B, make sure the correct answer is above the code. Then, to answer or to scan and collect responses correctly, make sure the students hold the cards upright and without blocking or tilting. So, that's the upright position that is blocking and that is tilting. So, the cue cards can be reusable for your next quiz so no need to print again laminated cue cards last longer so you better have to laminate the cards okay so ito na po yung ating example sa ating cue cards para siyang QR code no so yung P1 stands for pupil number 1 meron siyang options na A, B, C, D on the sides of the square okay so P2 pupil number 2 pupil number 3 Pupil number 4, pupil number 5, and that is from 1 to 60. Okay, each card has a number from 1 to 60 to identify your participants. Participants must rotate 90 degrees for the cue cards to be scanned properly. Again, all printed okay. cue cards can be used repeatedly as long as they are not torn or damaged. You can assign cue cards to your pupils, but that is optional. Why optional? Kasi ang cue cards na gagamitin natin sa first section ay P1 lang naman ang nakalagay. Pupil number 1, pupil number 2, pupil number 3. Ang kagandahan lang sa nakapangalan ang group, makikita mo sa screen ang mga pangalan ng mga respondents mo. Unlike doon sa hindi naka-assign, wala siyang pangalan. Only P1, P2, P3, ganyan lang po siya. Okay? So, after ma-print ang lahat ng cue cards, the next thing to do is to install the Quizzes app on your phone. So, sa Android phone, you can install the Quizzes app via Play Store and on iOS via App Store. Sa susunod na video, ang ipapakita ko sa inyo is how to play paper mode on your phone. Okay? Yung may actual na mga bata na gumagamit ng cue cards. So, abangan nyo guys ang next video natin. Thank you for watching. Have a lovely day, everyone.